Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So I'm sure you guys have seen recently that myself and maybe a few other YouTubers have made videos about those classic sort of dynamic heads that work on R15 and R6 avatars really well. I know on the R6 avatars sometimes they're a little bit blurry but you know what I mean, overall they're pretty decent. Honestly if you go on the marketplace or avatar shop right now and you go into the head section and you have a look for these classic style faces, a lot of them are like insanely good and it's kind of mind blowing that Roblox would ever let something like this be free because if you think about it Roblox have always wanted to generate like a ton of money from people buying Robux. Well the thing is guys to get a cool avatar face now you don't even need Robux anymore which is kind of hilarious and yeah that's why Roblox might be bringing a stop to these classic faces. Well there's a few reasons and I wanted to make a video about this so yeah I just want to say guys if you see any of these faces that you like and they're currently free go and take it right now don't wait don't delay get them as soon as possible because apparently Roblox wants to stop UGC creators from actually making and releasing them. Cheers to Elrune over on Discord for sending this to me. He sent me this a few days ago, I'm just getting around to it. So this is a Discord post from Infinite Chris, and if you guys have seen him before, you probably have, or you might recognize his username. Yeah, this is the guy that makes some of those classic style faces. And here he posted in his Discord saying he probably won't be making 2D faces anymore, and he said, sorry guys. Because yeah, the thing is, somebody at Roblox, well, somebody from Roblox Developer Relations said that Roblox themselves is not happy. So let's go and read this. It says, Hi UGC creator. Roblox will soon be introducing a more detailed policy in regards to our newly launched dynamic heads. In the meantime, we kindly ask that you avoid making the dynamic heads fully static and ignoring motion inputs. Please stay tuned for the upcoming policy. So that's the thing. When Roblox released this update, they thought everybody would be making dynamic heads. You know, like the Stevie standard and all of those annoying faces. Roblox did didn't think people would use this to make classic style faces which look insanely cool and the funny thing is this backfired on Roblox so much because nobody cares about the dynamic ones everyone's going crazy over the classic ones so just using this face as an example smug by infinite Chris this one is free so if you want it probably go and take it this is one of the faces that works very well with both R15 and R6 so we can see here on an R15 character it looks a bit geeked up but this face is really cool like it just looks awesome when this dynamic face is selected on an R6 character it does become a little bit blurry because technically it's supposed to be dynamic and I think that's why the blur happens but honestly you know it's still usable for free you can't really complain too much. So the thing is yeah Roblox doesn't want people to make these anymore. I really don't think they're going to get deleted but they're probably going to go off sale at some point point. and yes that does also mean faces like this so technically this is not really like a face it's not really like a classic 2D face it's more of like a head with a texture on but again yeah it looks really really cool on um, R15 avatars. It's basically like that classic Roblox rust texture, right? I really like it. And it also works on R6 characters. Not as well. It gets a bit blurry, a bit pixelated there, but you know, it does the job. It's not completely terrible. If you joined an R6 game, you'd probably be fine with it. So yeah, the thing is like faces like this, because technically it's not really dynamic, it's more static. I think Roblox doesn't really want players to make these either. And if you're wondering what Roblox is happy with, well, it's stuff like this. Yes, that angry head, because this one is a free dynamic face. The eyes move, the mouth moves. You can connect it to your microphone and connect it to your webcam and move your face. And it also, you know, copies it across onto this dynamic head. This is what Roblox want to see. They want to see the latest stuff. They want to see UGC creators taking advantage of the new technology. And when UGC creators make classic ones, well, they're not too happy. Here's what the dynamic face looks like in R6. So to be honest, the quality is good and it's still usable. So yeah, maybe it's not so bad, but even so, we know deep down the classic ones are just way better. So as I was saying guys, if you go into the marketplace and you find the classic face that you really like the look of and you find out it's free, well probably take all of them right now, have a good look and try and find all of them. I'll be linking some down below in this video's description as well because yeah, I think there might come a time when Roblox force UDC creators to either take these off sale or maybe Roblox will just do it themselves. I don't think they're going to get deleted because that would be pretty stupid but yeah, if you see any classic faces and you think, oh that looks cool, don't take your time anything, just go and get it now, quick. 